Like, some games are just unwinnable. Like, n like even the best players can't win every single game. Like, you just get people who are really terrible and there's nothing to feel bad about. But you're definitely really good. Like, you're performing way above your rank. Quick word before the video starts. I'm gonna need you guys to go stash that subscribe button and like the video. Because as of right now, only 16.7 people are subscribed. Don't miss out. Also, I'm live every day on Twitch, so come say hi. Or say something like banana to confuse all the Twitch only viewers. Could be our secret. Anyway, let's get into the video. You're down in five. All right. All right. Let's see no, what you me. are cooking. Nice. Let us see you. what you are cooking right now. 23 minutes. Oh my god, that's a treat. Holy, holy hell. Oh wow, you guys lost so fast. All right. Let, let's see. Let's see the beginning here. Uh. All right. This map. I'm not a big fan of this map. Farah is really good. I mean, it's okay for Genji, but it's really good for Farah. So you never, you never like to hear a fire at the start of this. Um, okay, farming tank a bit. I see, I see, that's fine. Oh, your Ryan has just inted. What is your Ryan done? Okay, your team is just dying. There's nothing you can do here. This is not your fault. <laughs> yeah, you tried to help your Mercy too. Okay, your team just inted there. Your Ryan just, I don't even know. What, what is, what was he cooking? What was the dude cooking? I almost want to go back and watch it for my entertainment, but we'll stick to the, the like you're your doing your gameplay. Alright, so here. I mean, honestly, like playing Genji into Pharah Mercy is really fucking hard. You just need like really good mechanics to like hit them. You do this dead again, and your wrist is gonna die. Yeah, I mean, I'm not seeing anything that you could have done that would have mattered up until this point. It just looks like your team is kind of feeding. Yeah, it happens. You can't really play any differently. Let's see what you do this fight. Okay. Oh, uh, that's a bit dangerous. What you did there, that's a little bit... Yeah, you're gonna die for that. Okay. Um... Let's see. In this situation, like, what you did here was fine. But... You should aim to, like, drop either on top of people or behind them, because... They won't like see you, right? If you're if you're behind them. Okay. Whereas here, you're like you're dropping into their sights. Like they, they kind of see you. Plus you're double jumping. Like set them up. They kind of know you're there. They're they're prepared for you. But what you should have done here is you should have like you use this like right click dash from like too far away. Okay, that's what you do wrong here. If if you were closer, if you had dropped instead of dropping here. Okay, you want to shoot the Pharah, I understand, but then you like turn your attention to these guys. So instead of like dropping on them, what you could have done is you could have reset, you could have like gone back up here, because like obviously you're at a disadvantage. It's like a, it's a two v number one, it's like a one v two, right? Because it's Korean Anna looking at you, uh, and then you're, you're dashing from too far away, and it would have been fine if you hit. I know you actually do hit this follow up shot, but he's like sliding, I think. So he takes less damage, right? Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. You do hit it. Yeah, what you should have done really is probably like just instead of like dropping down here, okay, as you do here. As you, instead of dropping down. Bro, what am I doing? The, the, the VOD is like so long that like when I skip like a little bit, it like skips so much, right? So instead of dropping down here, you should have just like climb back up. And since you're playing in Diamond, people have the, uh, object permanence of uh i don't know but it was something really dumb like they have they have no object permanence that's my point i've tried to be funny there it failed uh you should just like you should have just like climbed here and gone over the roof again and then dropped like down like this right onto their heads it would have been a lot more effective and then instead of like dashing towards them you could have dashed like out of them you know and that way you might get a kill, you might get a kill, you might not, but either case you're poking for ult charge and you it won't get you killed like here. Like what you did here, pretty much like if it, you're committing your dash, and if you don't get a kill, you're gonna die. That's the issue with Genji. You're not you're not tracer, right? Ba basically bat yeah, basically Batman activity. You're not tracer, so when you go in, you have to get a kill. You have to get a dash reset, or you're just feeding. You can't press recall, you know. Genji yes. that's why Genji's way harder to play. But yeah, that's what that's that's from, from what I've seen. That's the first time you actually kind of end this game. The other parts are just like your team controlling. But that's the way you could have done better. In either case, like 
it's not really like a hard loss for your team because they get stuck here at choke. Okay, I like that. Good. I guess trolling. You capitalize on that. That's good. Um. Oh, okay. That's okay. You're, you're fine. Luckily. Is scary? Yeah, you can play. Nice, Mercy's rolling. Okay, that's that's pretty nice. That's some, that was that was that was good target focus there. I like that. Your target focus was on point. That's where you guys win the fight. You dropped the necessary targets low and luckily your team follows up, so. Yeah, that's good. Let's see. Okay, we have blade. What are we blading here? This is this is a bit of a difficult team to blade, I'm not gonna lie. You have like the flying Pharaoh Mercy and then you have like the Ana and or your tank is that again. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay. Okay, let him cook. Nice, that was actually perfect. That was actually perfect. I was gonna say, I was actually gonna say like earlier here, but like it looks like you capitalize on it. So like earlier here, we saw we saw baby diva, right? It's actually so perfect to leave diva out of mech. Like right here, we see her, right? We see baby diva. So like in my head, I'm thinking, okay, I have blade and diva doesn't have mech. I want to go ASAP because you can just one shot her. She is just a swing and a dash and she can't run away. So like whenever you see a diva, uh out of mech you should try like uh if if your team left her and she's still out of mech right and their team and their, her team is coming back what you can go is you can try to engage really early onto the mini because you can just swing dash and you can get a reset and then you're really powerful from that point on you know because like you're just moving all over the place you're zipping through like you just need one kill to like really set you up but that, that was good he actually realized that he realized that like that's a mini i, I like that i like that a lot i like how this guy's playing so far i think his team is definitely like, just moving back at least in this game that's really good. And then he deflects the Kree. Very, very clean. Very clean. Super good play. And then uh, from this point on, it's just clean up, I guess. Because you get the 5k. Give the man the 5k. He deserves it. 4k. For some mercy. Oh, she got away. Okay, I mean, that, that's still clean. That's still really, really clean. Alright. So far, so good. I like what I'm seeing. Only one in so far, but that's that's fine. How much everyone? It definitely seemed like, I mean, you guys are running Mercy Lucio, so your healing is kind of low. Like your Mercy just needs to perma heal the Sarissa, who is just absolutely feeding her brains. Oh my god, this guy has zero brains. Are you sure this is Diamond? Because you guys are kind of playing like. Uh, yeah, yeah, you guys probably use this. I mean, I don't know, bro. Your tank is just catastrophically bad. Like, I don't think you can do much more. Like, some games are just unwinnable. Like, n like even the best players can't win every single game. Like, you just get people who are really terrible and there's nothing to feel bad about. But you're definitely really good. Like, you're performing way above your rank. You're, 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 it looks like you're smurfing on this pretty much so far. It's just your wrist is really, really just a specimen. You're playing smart. Not doing stupid shit. Not full diamond. Matchmaking is so bad you can get a silver one tank or a gold support. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. Okay, I feel like we could have played a little bit better there. We could we could have like if we used our abilities a bit better, we could have probably secured a kill there. Let's see here. Oh. You also had a chance there. Practice your mechanics, guys. Mechanics are so important. Because I I bet you're I bet you're cursing at yourself there. Because I know, I know, like, that you're probably thinking, fuck, if I hit those shots, that Mercy has no idea. So that, was, that was a really good climb, was, like, right on top of her, pretty much. And, like, if you just hit a, a few more shots, you could have killed her. That's fine. Again, your team just ends. And at this point, most you can do is either, like, stall, them, stall the payload a bit or just get out, which you do. So, again, pretty good. You just can't hit people who don't know you're there? Yeah, it's, it's fucking hard. I agree. I came from consoles, so my mechanics are still pretty bad. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, you're doing you're doing pretty well. All things considered. Yeah, this guy definitely does. Really. Okay. Oh no, we should ignore him. Okay. Okay. All right, we're blade, but our team using. Uh, that was 
that was not great. Again, that was not great. Whenever you guys are engaging Kree, the way you need to play is you, you can't play like this. You, you can't, like, if you just dash him like this, you're probably gonna lose the fight. Especially, like, you see, you've made the same mistake twice at this point. Again, like, you're dashing the Kree from long range, like, you're engaging on him from long range, when there's an Ana right behind him, you're probably gonna kill him, you know? You're just not gonna kill him, and you end up dying. So what you should do, again, is, like, probably, like, I don't know, either come from here, like, just climb this wall, and go on this bridge here. You're very powerful when you're, like, in this position, especially if the enemy team has to shoot at something here. You, you kind of need to, like, sometimes, like, Overwatch is a team game, right? So you do need to rely on your team to create space sometimes. So, like, if, if the enemy team is occupied, you're, you're looking for, like, moments where their focus kind of drops, uh, or where they, like, focus, like, on someone else, right? And you, you come, that's the moment when you, like, drop from here while they're looking, like, imagine... You just come from here now and you drop on this Kree and then again you just right click him once twice three times however many times they allow you to and then either like if you can see that you can kill him then you dash him but if not then you, you have the dash to get out you know you, you're using your dash to engage without being able to secure a kill do you know what i mean and that's getting you killed that's the second time but luckily it seems like it doesn't matter because your tank died so you got lucky here, although that wasn't it 100 now let's see we have blade again we know they use Valk classified, so Mercy is actually kind of an okay target. If you know Mercy doesn't have Valk, it's okay to go for her. Especially since they nerfed J to 2.5 seconds. Oh, yeah, right. Alright, he's gonna open up right here on Mercy. She has no way to escape now. Perfect. See? See? This, this guy's like... This guy's smart. He's smart. He, he literally did what I said he should do. So he knows what he's doing. But okay, he gets slept at. That's a bit unfortunate. You did, you did kill Mercy, which is probably like the most important target you can kill though. So, I still think... Like, you did die, but... That was an okay blade. Trading one for one to kill an important target is usually okay, but although uh, you shouldn't rely on it too much because like you should you should just assume that your team is bad. Like trading yourself one for one is okay if you trust everyone on your team. But if you have like weaker links in the team and you get yourself killed trading one for one, you're just not gonna carry the game. That's that's not how you carry. you don't carry by trading yourself one for one. That's how you like kind of create space, but. You should definitely not do that. But still, I think it was okay. It was okay. You did kill Mercy. Now, it could have been worse if you killed Anna and then you, you died to like Kree or Pharaoh or whatever. Then the Anna probably would have just gotten rest. So that would have been bad. But at least you killed Mercy. I still think it could have been a bit cleaner here. You know, you're, you're standing still. That's that's not good. You should always move. Like, I, I think that's that's what gets you killed. If you're actually just running into this room as you're swinging the Mercy, then you're infinitely less likely to... Uh, it slept here. Let's look at that from Anna's perspective. Like, you're probably just giving her the easiest sleep ever, right? Yeah, like, she would have missed this. Sleep tight. You do move, but it's basically kind of in place, right? Like, if you chased the Mercy into the room and then came out... I, I know you wanted to, like, block yes. her way out of it. I, I think that's what you wanted, but, like, still, it's, it's very bad to stand still, especially during Blade. That's what gets you We all die, eventually. You still. Okay, your team... Did they lose her? Or actually, wait, you're, you're not losing her. Or maybe? Nice. Yeah, the best you can do is try to stay alive. That's what you try doing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. What you're doing here is good. And yeah, now you're missing in touch, but. Yeah, this is just rough. Oh my god, this fight is so messy. This fight is so messy. Yeah, he's isolated. We go for him for sure. I, I don't even understand what's happening here. What is going on? Oh, she missed a nade. We know we, we saw she used her nade. It's it's a good idea to go for either Anna or Mercy. Ah, oh, close. Very close. Damn. I think you could have played mechanically better there. You probably could have gone for Anna when she doesn't have cooldowns. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. I think you should have gone for Anna here. You you heard her you heard her res there. I mean Mercy probably would have gone and healed her. No, so. no, she... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this whole fight was really messy. Like there's a couple things you could have done better, but like I don't I don't blame you for not doing it because now this is one place that no it's it's yeah, it's it's just mechanics. Like if he had like slightly better mechanics there, he probably yeah. killed her. But as you said, he came from console, so yeah, they could have gotten over time. Oh well, let's see. This is a really long game. I think they end up capping this. Yeah, they do end up capping this. 
I want to I want to move through this vod so it doesn't end up being like a 30 minute YouTube video, which I'm I'm sure it will already already will be. Let's see. Yeah, this is really rough. Okay. I'm being patient with the dash. Nice. That's that's good situation awareness there. Hey, you're carrying space, you're making Arista look at you, it's fine. You, you got to Mercy, very important. Probably follow up and kill the Ana here. Easy cleanup kills, nice. Real charge from the Arista. That was good, that was that was well played. You, you did well realizing that, like, you should cap the, the... What's it called? The person that died there. You should do a water view, I mean, no, deck, no. that's not happening. You're you're unsalvageable. You're Objective way too bad. A. Just quit the game. Okay. Yeah, that was, that was okay. I like that you built you built like fifteen percent ultra off for that. It's okay. That's a blade. Oh, that's a free kill there. Oh, oh. Shit. Oh well. Yeah, definitely got to work on the mechanics a little bit. You're missing a lot of free kills here. You're, you're getting, you're seeing these people that are out of position, but like if you don't have the mechanics to like execute it properly, then they're just gonna get away. And that's what separates like, that's what separates good player. Like that's the difference between high ranks and low ranks is that like you can kind of get away. Like this Mercy, for example. That Mercy is a fucking bad player, right? But you can kind of get away with like dog shit positioning in these ranks where people won't punish her, right? But in higher ranks, she will die there, you know? That's the difference. You gotta practice those mechanics. You should probably be asking Mercy to like, pocket your own blade. I don't know if I've seen her pocket one blade, actually. You should definitely be calling it to Mercy if you can. Let's see, yeah, you should be climbing this building. It's good. Okay, yeah, patient with your. Oh. No, you play that really well. Again, it's just mechanics. <laughs> it's just mechanics. You actually, I, I was gonna say, yeah, you play that really well. You wait for her. Like this is this is what you should do, by the way. This is the reason why I tell you guys to like dash your targets first and then pull out blade. Okay, because. If you do that, right, you're pulling out Blade on top of her, you get to swing her once, then she's gonna boop you away, and now you have another dash, and she, he's perfectly in range, he hits her, and as long as he connected that swing, he probably would have killed her. Probably. But and then he has to retreat, because he, he missed. Oh. Right, maybe we still get value here. Ooh, we gotta get out here. Okay, like I was feeding. Oh, we gotta get out of Bob here. Oh, oh my god, that Bob was nasty. Dude, Bob and Kirikol just shreds you so quick. It's it's unreal. Bob and Kirikol just shreds. Oh my god. Uh, you have Mercy Pocket in there. That is a bit scary. Oh, nice. You end up, yeah, so that's what I mean. Like, that Kiriko is just feeding. If you have good mechanics, that's what you're gonna do to people that are feeding. You know, if they're out of position, you're just gonna kill them. That was really clean. I'll play. Now you're, now you're in a good spot because Mercy cannot res that. And that's one of their healers. It's one of the most important targets you can get a kill on. So your team should win because it's two healers versus one now. I would definitely be playing a little bit more aggressive here. You definitely wanna, like, you don't want to hang around this far in the back because you have you, you kill the healer. Your whole team should just be like realizing, okay, it's four v five. Or I mean, it's five v four. We gotta we gotta go in. We gotta press W. Yeah. She's gonna blow. Sometimes you can lead that charge. Sometimes your team is dumb and like it. Oh, okay. Uh, creating space. Creating space. Nice. That's a nice shot. Yeah, you guys count this. It's fine. Whatever. That probably could have been played better, but you know, it's whatever. You win. You win the fight. So it doesn't matter. Nice. We gotta kill here. Yeah. Got the way the monkey. Monkey's high. He's looking at you. He wants you. Get some nice full charge off him. Right, we have blade. What are we doing? Right, that's a bit unnecessary. I feel like. Yeah. At this point, uh, I mean, that monkey really wants to die. 
He really wants to die. Yeah, now we have blades, so it's unnecessary. We're just feeding them support ults at this point. By like shooting monkey. Now we just want to look to blade. We always okay. That number one thing, if you're okay, a lot of people ask me, how do you play against Torb? How do you play against Sim uh, when you're playing Genji? The number one thing that you have to do is you have to break the turret before blading. You have to. It's literally impossible to blade into a, a Torb turret. It's just even if you have nano, it's just really difficult. It's gonna make your blade harder. Just break the turret first. It's like a 15 second cooldown or some shit after it's broken. So are you t are you flaming your team? Why are you stopping a why are you stopping a type? You're flaming your team. I know you're flaming your team. Stop flaming your team. Focus on the game. Mute everyone. This is also part of the party beat. Mute your team. If if someone's annoying you, fucking mute them. Do not type. Typing makes you less likely to win the game. Do not flame them. Jill's there. All right, let's see here. So we wanna we wanna take care of the turret first. We wanna find the turret. Oh, the monkey is feeding. Okay. Oh, we killed our tank. That's kind of big. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. I like that. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that's fat. That's so fat. Holy shit. That was okay. Okay. Again. I stand by this. I think the best way to blade is exactly how he did how he did it. You go in with right click dash and then you pull out blade. And then he just sets that beautiful play up. He actually cooked. That's what I'm saying. You always I swear like okay, maybe not always, but I swear 99% of the time you want to blade initiating with dash right click. You want to blade like that. It's just better. It's just simply better. Alright. Especially if it's raw blade, if you don't have any form of like damage boosts. Oh, this is a bit scary. Okay, we live. That was very scary. That was that was risky. Goofy positioning, but it's fine. You don't die, so it's fine. Ah, close. You're you're straight up carrying your team, man. You are straight up carrying your team. It's actually crazy that you lose this game. It's crazy. You did really well. Very, very, very small amount of mistakes there. Most of your mistakes are like of mechanical nature. That's it. But those those can be like fixed through like practice. You just need some like better warm up or like more time on like some workshops that help you with your aim. That's it. Number one, if you like, if you, if you just prioritize mechanics, you're gonna definitely climb. Like you're playing smart. My tank will feed again. I was like a soldier fed. Oh, plane. Yeah, Zen's a good target. Always go for Zen if you can. Unfortunately... Wait, did your tank already die? Hold on. Wait, he's dead. How did he die? Okay, I need to see this guy. What is he cooking? Bro, get out! You just use... You just use Fortify! You're, you're hard peeking a Bastion! <laughs> Bro. Literally, what do you even do when you get people like that? I don't know. That was really clean, but unfortunately, that tank is just giga feeding. It doesn't matter. I think you could have killed that Zen there, but either case, like, I mean, your tank already died, so. I'm not gonna blame you for that. Okay, their tank is dead now. That's kinda big. We're no fade. Both Zen and Moira are good targets here. I think... Hmm. I mean, it, it is their spawn, but you could have... I think you could have played more aggressive here. I could have... I definitely think you could have just... Like, gone in. Maybe on the Zen, maybe on the Moira. Like, you should have been, like, less afraid or anything. Maybe Soldier wouldn't have died if you weren't scared. Either the case, I mean... Yeah, it's, this is their spawn, so now it's, like, now it's the best thing to do is, like, just back off here, I think. How are they? Your healers are just heroes keeping this dude alive. This is a little bit of an in. They're focusing your team. As long as you get out here, it's fine. Yeah, oh well. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, this. See? See how you play there? 
that's what you should have done. Like, okay, even though, even though you don't really do that much damage, you don't really like threaten like a kill on them. That what you did there was way better because you just went in from from like behind. You like dashed through them, got some ult charge, and then got the fuck out. It could have been a bit cleaner. It was a bit like sloppy. I think you could have died. You were a bit slow doing it, but either case, that was perfect. Yeah, we just want to get played. Like we want to prioritize getting played here. Oh. Oh, okay. He died through. Oh, nice. Okay, you have a kill. You definitely want to go in here. Nice. Now you just get healed up and you just blade here. You guys win for sure. Very patient with the blade. Saving the dash. I like that. You're you're saving the dash. Nice. That's good. He's saving the dash here for like because he knows the fire can fly up. This guy's like very like. What what, what rank were you on console? I'm curious, because that was actually well played. Like you're, you, I think most Diamond Genjis probably would have just dashed that far. Score. And, and probably inted. I was GM. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, well, I think the number one thing you're struggling with is just mechanics. But honestly, this game is not even your fault. Like, you're definitely going to climb. For sure. It's just your tank was really bad. Like, really, really bad. As I said, not every game is winnable. I think you're doing as much as a Genji can reasonably do. Could you have done more, probably, to win this game? Yeah, probably. But as I said, most of your most of your issues are like on the mechanical side. Of things. And your tank is dead again. Okay, I kind of want to watch how this guy died. This is truly just—it's just impressive. It's impressive how bad he is. How does he play one of the most tanky heroes in the game and just manages to be? He's just, again, kind of wide picking a bastion. He's in turret form. This guy has no idea what he's doing. I, I feel bad for your healers. This guy's just terrible. That was good. Good deflect. Yeah, so like, you gotta, you should definitely be shooting the turret here. Just delete that thing from existence. It's, existence is very annoying. Okay, you guys have a pick. That's kind of big. Yeah, the Santa's out of position. I don't know why he's playing there. Kind of being an idiot. That's a good pick. Oh, Bastion's one. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, your game sense is like definitely on point. Like, it makes sense that you were GM. You're, you're doing a lot of things right. Mechanics really. Let's see, we have blade. Maybe you could have done something better here to win. Let's see how it goes. Knowing, knowing your Arista, she's probably just gonna end. Okay, your question is. Okay, your Arista. Yeah, just you gotta get out here. You gotta get out. You gotta get out. I think he, your team stays too long here. Guess you should have backed us. Uh, well, you guys definitely like, okay. Let's let's observe this. Oh no, they have four bolts here and nano. I mean, you guys have nano too. Unfortunately, your Anna died. I think like hmm, probably the best way to carry is like to just try to like synergize and, or like coordinate a nano blade here with Anna. And like hopefully your Arista just rushes the point and touches it. When your Reaper dies, that's really annoying. Cause like. I feel like the Reaper should have just like kind of touched with Wraith, but I think he just ends before he even like touches the point. No, let's wait, let's see how this pans out. Yeah, this is a disaster. You do get that, but it's a bit late. Oh. That's a Arista moment. No, he does so well too. Man. Nah, I, I really feel like this game is not your fault at all. You did almost everything right just a couple of very small mistakes which is normal it happens even in gm right like you're getting value out of every blade your orissa i i really wish blizzard let you see stats in replay because i can't see but i bet this orissa is probably like <laughs> double digit deaths <laughs> like he's just in thing you could have i don't think you could have done anything better here man honestly Couple of small things here and there, but like that really doesn't matter. Oh In the grand God. scheme of things, your Arista was just really bad. You you play it perfectly, you wait for Yana to like get here, but 
Like, okay, let me let me see what your Reaper did. I'm just curious. This is technically the end, but I'm just like curious what this dude did. Wait, where is he? You're a Reaper now, right? Did he just did he like fall asleep on his keyboard? Literally, okay, this guy kind of threw this fight. If you just press shift here, then they're gonna be looking at him. Like your Anna can probably like heal him or wait, where's your second support? Where, where is he? I don't see the Moira. Where is the Moira? Oh, he's here. Yeah, I mean, your, your Moira would have definitely healed up your Reaper. We're not about to die like that. You know, she probably could have played like, maybe either like this corner, like back here could have healed him. Like that guy just, that guy just did, he just didn't press buttons. I don't know. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Like even your wrist is like, I mean, he's kind of trolling, but like, I think your Reaper should have been able to touch for at least like three, four seconds. There could have been healed by Moira. Again, not your fault. Your team is just bad. Um, Nothing I would blame on you. You, you, you did perfect. You played perfectly. You stayed alive here for Nanoblade. You do end up getting three, but unfortunately, the team just beats. So. Oh well. I mean, it is what it is, man. Sometimes, sometimes that happens. Sometimes your team is just bad. It's just team diff. It's just team diff. Unfortunately, that was good. You, you played really well that game.